Okay. Woo! Hello, everyone. Hello, and welcome to uh, Points of Light. I am Nordvernok, and we are here to play Dungeons and Dragons 5th Edition in the world of Eberron. So we got the uh, uh, so we got pretty much for the most part uh, the full crew back. Welcome back, uh, Rodus. Mm -hmm. Uh, Rodus. Rodus? Hello. It, yeah, is something up with your connection? Just just want to make sure. Uh, no. Just, uh, just, no. Just a little quiet today? Yeah. Fair enough. So. Oh, uh, so, so, for, before we get things into motion, um, I'd like to make, a, to make a bit of an announcement. Um... Starting next week on September 3rd, we will be doing a series of month of one shots once per month or so um, to test out uh, the one uh, D and D play uh, play test. Uh, so we will, we will be using different like a, di a different set of characters for this like series of one shots. It could be the same character for uh, between each one shot, but the purpose is the same. To test out what works with one D and D and what doesn't, and then we will be sending our feedback to um, Wizards of the Coast. I'm quite excited to see uh, what works and what doesn't. Add my own thoughts on it. So, any anyone else want to say something, just in case? Well, uh, I'm not gonna be able to join you on the third. But, uh, I think I said that already, but I'll be probably be able to do the other ones. Right. Uh, uh, so we'll let you know when the uh, when the uh, when we do the next play <clears throat> test. Um, probably around October or maybe in November because I have plans for a bit of a like a mini mini campaign, uh, Halloween themed set, and uh, set in a bit of a crossover between uh, Ravenloft and uh, Eberron called Dread Metrial. It's a bit of an idea All that right. I have in mind. So. Um, Sounds fun. Yeah, fun. All sorts of horror. Like like here. Anyway, with that out of the way, what's uh, who's up for a recap? Yeah, I'm down for a recap. Alright. Uh, previously, our Fantros reunited with Aiden and traversed uh, through more of the strangely empty uh, lightning rail. They fought a hulking, butcher-like figure. And, you know, they won. And once they reached the uh, elemental coach, they find it that it has been s separated from the rest of the electric rail. So they had to make the, uh, the jump to various means of the old fashioned <laughs> jumping, uh, uh, like, uh, like running and then jumping, teleportation, like with uh, apparatus, and um, some and some rope tricks. Just, you know, tying a rope to, to one end and then throwing the rope certainly did help. When they try to uh, 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 break to, uh, break into the elemental coach, something is not letting them, and that is what the rest of the party, such as Korsky and Ida, realized that this was a dream. It was all a dream. So they had to so they had to make the way on top of the elemental coach, but there's one problem: the spires uh, spew out lightning. So they had to find another way through. For Apparatus and, and uh, Asterius, that's not much of a problem. The Dragonborn used their power to make the zones temporary immune to the to the harmful effects of the lightning. So they they just like casually just like walk through like nothing. And Apparatus just like uses their uh, slippers of spider climbing to just like walk at the side. The others have to get a little creative, but they managed to reach. Uh, but they managed to reach into the latch that leads to the uh, source of uh, of the nightmare. And what they find inside was not what they expected. Uh, like the expected internal workings of the elemental coach. And what they see below them is was a dark cavern glowing with a lurid purple light. The, deep, uh, the, uh, the drop below looks deep, looked deeper than the lightning rail uh, was tall. I said the space below was completely disconnected from the reality of the racing wasteland around them. What they noticed was an uneven counter floor 
came into sharper focus when they looked more into it. The ca uh, this cave wasn't hewn from rough stone. It was lined with bodies. Motionless, gray bodies. And that's where we are right now. So, you look inside and you see all these like bodies. Say, however, when you when you look at Abe, you notice that there's like a breathing shadow or, around him. And on every occasion you see eyes. So many eyes around you know, on the shadows that wreath around um Abe. What do you want to do? Anyone? Oh, I thought you were talking to Abe. Yeah, I, I, I'm talking to the rest of you and Abe. So, what do you? So, how would you feel about like something that's like this weird shadow just like suddenly appearing around Abe? And and we there's like are this... in Dream Realm, so mm, I'm gonna say not the weirdest thing that's happened today. <laughs> Uh, speaking of which, uh, for those who have proficiency, uh, who has a who has proficiency in Arcana or would like to make an Arcana check, you can go ahead and, and make an Arcana check. On I'd what exactly? Like to do that. Alrighty. What are we Arcana? It's a nine. Well, to see what is up with Iden, well, with Abe. I almost said Iden. It's Abe. Oh. I was rolled a nine. <laughs> <laughs> well, Apparatus is just say it's just thinking Dream Realm, so Apparatus is not rolling. All right, so, uh, okay, so as huh? you're East, you can go ahead and roll. That at, makes uh, three of us roll the nine. <laughs> nine. Actually, um, Abe, you, I'm not going to succeed because you, you because this, uh, the reason why you have these. Yeah, uh, that reminds me. All right, so, um, so as you're what do you roll? I rolled a nine. Yeah, they said they rolled a nine earlier. <laughs> nine. Okay. Uh, for those who I, rolled, I have uh, a plus five, but um, <laughs> I rolled a four. So <laughs> for those who uh, for those who rolled a nine, That's you do not exactly recognize. You do not recognize what is up with uh, with um, Abe, but Abe, that is your your uh, the arisen core that's been bonded to you like uh, like those before uh, before in your bloodline. Is a Cal Calarag quarry, also known as the Eye Binders, some of the most powerful of the quarry and of Idea. There, are, there are very few, uh, very few are known uh, to reside in that core, and there are many more that are not known. Perhaps yours is one of those unknown uh, Calarag uh, quarries. That is uh, what did you have known, Abe? Do you wish to tell the others, or do you keep it to yourself? Wait. This is new. They have their rib cam on to sew the rolls they make. Oh, okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Anybody want to know? <laughs> so, like, could you speak out, Lego? Yeah. You're, you're a little quiet. Did anybody care to know, or just... Well, okay, uh, the rest of you, would you like to know? This is a pretty a pretty good uh, bit of lore for everyone, so this is pretty fascinating to know. But we're also learning it in Dream Realm, oh, where yeah. weird things happen. <laughs> <laughs> would that be a yes? Not for apparatus, no. Probably for uh, probably Asterius too. He's like, well, you know, he uh, he takes <clears throat> he smoked the odd uh, plant, so he knows not to trust stuff from dreams. Uh oh, fretboard, uh, fretboard is acting up again. Hey, okay, there we go, there we go. Slip Fred do Fred things. <laughs> Anyway, you think some uh, uh, an artificer with a high intelligence would 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 love to know what the hell that is? Just saying. Anyway, so 
A series would love to know. Um, nope. So everyone would be like, nope, this is too weird for us. Well, uh, Just since like Asterius a, knows... Not the weirdest thing that's happened. Day and day since we know it's a dream, Asterius is just gonna be like, eh, not the weirdest thing that have happened to me in a dream. <laughs> That's fair. That's fair. So, are you all ready to hop down into this weird ass cave? Ready as you can be. I'm ready. I'll switch out the music. I'll tell Far step up still. Might as well get you to use it. You, so, you, so, uh, so you hop on down to each of you. The line with the sickening soft <laughs> all around you. The floors, not uh, the floor, the walls are rising into the darkness. Even the ceiling overhead are made on bodies. Before you, on a raised DS, are two figures. The first is a primal nightmare of a being. Combine the features of a hideous scorpion, snake, and crest uh, Asian. It hunches over Ch uh, Toshim, the small boy crying and sobbing, almost silently beneath it. The massive creature's eyes, too many eyes, swerve from the boy to you. In your mind, in each of your minds, uh, a terrible sisterus uh, of nails on chalk and the drip of sizzle of venom flesh form words. This is not your, oh, your world. This is not your fight. Go back where you came. Leave the boy to me. I will spare your fragile sanity. You look, uh, you, uh, you casually look around and you notice among the, uh, among the, uh, motionless gray bodies is a familiar, uh, figure. Wrist. Skin, with his ashen with black skin paler than usual. Lying among the bodies, almost motionless. You know, we gotta talk about your interior decorating skills. Uh, could you... Uh, could use some... Work. Uh, could you say it a little more louder, just in case? Uh, my apologies for... <laughs> what? I say, you can do. We gotta talk about your interior tech writing skills, pal. Could use some work. It kind of like glares at you. You dare? The Medusa vibe is last. You, da you dare to mock me, Kalostar? I mean, I'll mock you as much as I please if you're gonna force me to be in this. I don't know or even know what the fuck this dream is. <laughs> no matter. Leave the boy to me, and I will let you go. Yeah, nah, hard pass. Yeah. How about you hand over the boy, and we won't brutally murder you? What say you, Apparatus? I didn't. Coach, uh, I mean, Huntred, what about you? We will be taking the boy back. I'm sorry, you freakish monster, but we're not in the trade of children. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> So, no, so, so, I didn't. You agree with the rest? Yep. Okay. Okay. It. It right. It it it, it trained it itself. And it says, "So be it." Okay, and I would like oh, everyone to roll initiative. Roll as I move over oh, okay. to, uh, as I move this, uh, the uh, uh, the uh, the map over. To the, there's a hellscape. As soon as the oh, map geez, loads. What the hell? Oh, I need to bring in the rest of the uh, uh, of the uh, rest of the party. My my bad. 
That would be nice, yes. <laughs> yeah, everybody. Uh, this looks like it came from, looks like from Doom. <laughs> Ooh. What? <laughs> Uh, what is it? I rolled 30 on initiative with the Boots of Vigilance. Ha <laughs> <laughs> Oh, dang. I guess you know who's going first. <laughs> okay, uh... Oh, Duis is, is basically unconscious. So I'm gonna, like, uh... Put this little thing here. Uh, bringing up the uh, initiative, so uh, apparatus is 12. No, 18, my mistake. S3 is, is uh, 11. Hunchford is 30, right? Yes. <laughs> Jesus Christ! And that's not even <coughs> the card fought for the roll. Because hmm. I. My raw roll was what? Uh, damn it! Let me check. All right. Um. Let me. Abe, uh, what's your initiative, Abe? Uh, twelve. Twelve. Okay, so you go uh before Absurious. Aiden, what's your initiative? Uh, twenty-one. Twenty-one. Jesus Christ. can't control my tokens. I know, I know, just like, I'm surprised. I'm, I'm honestly surprised. If the DM's surprised, the monster's surprised. Give us a free round. <laughs> no. <laughs> ha! No. Well, there's only one giant enemy. It's a tough one. Okay. Size does not matter. I will still push it around. <laughs> Oh yeah, like the uh, like uh, like how a tavern brawler works in one D and D. You can push it regardless of its size. This man does not have his own movement. Six. I decide its movement. Six. Yeah. Wow. Do we? Are we all going for it? <laughs> it's beautiful, actually. <laughs> Oh Christ! Oh Christ Almighty! Alrighty, so Humphrey goes first, apparently. Oh, uh, I, I, I can see that nobody's around the, the monster. <laughs> Maybe I should first press a little kid. Can I do it? Oh yeah! Check? Oh yeah! There's like there's a there's a bit of a barrier around the kid, so he's fine. Roll away, I guess. Or can I just maybe do a Arcana check? Yeah, sure. Go ahead and roll an Arcana check. Uh, check. Each of you to roll an Arcana check to see you, if you recognize what the hell that thing is. Oh, Arcana. 18. Arcana. 18. Ah, oh. uh, 4. <laughs> Again, you're all the same. Alright, uh, Arcanus, you recognize what the fuck that thing is. It's a Tuscora Quarry. Um, to score quarry are t uh, are thought to be are tend to be the weakest and most of the numerous quarry, but nines. <laughs> this one, uh, this quarry, however, seems to be an apex quarry. And I assume Hunford learns the same thing because we rolled the exact same roll. You don't think he have uh, resistance to fire? Uh, it doesn't seem to be resistant. You know what I'm gonna roll, then. <laughs> Hang on. Okay, yeah. As far as you know, it's not resistant. Yeah. Uh, that's a fireball on its head. Alright, so, so fireball uh, right here? Yep. And dexterity mm. saving throw. Which it rolls with advantage. Magic they have advantage. Oh no. 
Ah. Uh, All right. Nineteen. Uh, roll the, the succeed. Alrighty. So you you know, you bring forth. So how would you describe your fireball, by the way? Does it? Does that say mean that it succeed? Yes, it succeeds on the saving throw. Yes. So that's a half damage. That's yeah, half damage. Yes. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. I was worried that. I was worried that completely nullifies the attack. Okay. No, no, it, no. That's for that's for count trips. That's for count trips. It'll state in the spell description if it misses yeah. entirely or not. For fireball, it's half damage. Okay. Or unless you're fighting. I spawned a massive fireball. A high level. Roll. That that take that that will cause a massive damage when it hits yep. any normal enemy. But unfortunately, this massive enemy manager somehow dodged the fireball. No, it, it's just like it tanks it. You, you lift your arms you lift your arms as you like crunch out this large fireball and you hurl it at uh, at the quarry. And poof, it's still standing. Roll damage. I rolled 33, so that's 16. Oh. It takes 16 yeah. points of fire damage. Yeah. There's still Driss just like laying there unconscious. Just saying. Can I use tele like, my, my telekinesis to wake him up? So to like bring him closer to you? Go ahead. I mean, oh. Or you could leave him to me. No, no, uh, can I use the telekinesis to, to slap him around? <laughs> 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 to wake him up. But I mean, if he's unconscious, you don't want to make him roll a death save. <laughs> well, that, that's not mm -hmm. a uh, strong slap. Just a light slap, like. Well, uh, let me. Uh, what is your mage? What, what sort of action does Mage Hand use? Well, push and shove. So doesn't do it's, any damage. It's, it's still okay. So he automatically fails his uh, his strength saving throw, and he's kind of like pushed out of the uh, bodies. I just like rolls. Well, oh, I can pull him too. So make him closer. Yeah. yeah. And kind of like um, just like you you uh, you push the unconscious uh, uh, drow out of out of the bodies, and he just kind of like rolls on the ground. That would be his turn. Okay. Iden, you're up. Uh, okay, uh, can I go to here, behind this, like, bone structure? Let me check, uh, how this, uh, map works. Oh, yeah, it's not a difficult terrain, so you're good. Okay. I think I should go right here, just have some sense of protection, and, uh, uh, I think I kind of want to start off with the bang with Hail of Thorns. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yes! Oh, yeah. Alright, that's a bonus <laughs> action, right? Yeah, I think so. Let me take a look at your uh, character sheet real quick. So I know what uh, quant what spell it is exactly. Sort out with a bane! I like... Uh, 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 you're getting better, um, <laughs> Trey. You're getting better. Uh. Alright, so uh, spells. I'm taking a look at your spells. Uh, Hail of Thorns. Would you like to cast it as a first level spell or a second level spell? Uh, is second level stronger? Yes. D uh, okay. ten. Okay, yeah. Uh, so two D ten piercing damage on a failed save, or has as much on a successful one. Go ahead and make your All attack. Right. So what do I have to roll? Just roll your attack. And don't forget to uh, uh to click on the second level spell slot, because wow. Okay. I really am prou uh, proud. Uh, 24 hits. Go ahead and uh, roll damage. Let me take a look at Hail of Thorns. Um, however, when you roll, da oh, roll your damage, roll D8 plus 6. D8 plus 6? Sorry. Uh... 11. It takes uh, is resistant to uh, is resistant to your uh, to your arrows uh, to that arrow, so it's going to take about five points of piercing damage, mm -hmm. and it is going to make a dexterity saving throw. 
with advantage, of course. 15. Does the 15 make it? Yeah, 15 uh, makes it. I'm going to look at your character sheet. DC is 14, so that makes it. So it takes half damage. So go ahead and roll uh, Hill of Thorns. Now, okay, in addition to the normal effect of the attack, the attack of, uh, of the target of the attack and each creature within 5 feet of very much uh, must make a uh, dexterity saving throw. So roll 2d8 or 2d10 points of damage. And then I'll have that. Oof. It takes uh. Uh, it takes four points of, of piercing damage as like as uh, as the arrow lands kind of like near its uh, near its, its torso. It barely pierces mm -hmm. it, and pff, the arrow bursts. Uh, better than nothing, I guess. <laughs> yeah, it is going to. Uh, would you like to make it another attack? Uh, yeah. Go ahead. Twenty six. Go ahead and roll attack. Or, or roll damage. I mean, roll damage. Seven. That plus six. That's thirteen. So I'm gonna put that as a six points of uh, piercing damage. Now the arrow. Now launch effect. All right. It it is going to use its uh, its uh, legendary action, and it is going to cast Tron person. On you, Hunfred. What? <laughs> okay. Well, That's interesting. Roll what? Roll wisdom saving throw. Wisdom saving throw. Fourteen. Fourteen. Yes. You are charmed by uh, by the quarry as you kind of like as like it's like sails into your mind. You start to see it as a bit of a friend. You have no desire to attack it. Let me take well, a look. That's... Uh, let me take a look. A charm creature can attack the charmer or target the charmer with harmful abilities or magical effects, and the charmer has advantage on any ability check to interact socially with the creature. So, yeah, you can't attack it. Until it hits back. Would that be your turn, Iden? Or you Ah, uh, yes. Apparatus, you're up. That's me. You didn't put my turret down. Oh, but... crap! Sorry, uh, sorry. I completely forgot about the turrets. Give me a second. It's fine. Um, I'm, uh... Alright, let me, let, me take a, let me take a moment to get out the turret. Thank you for reminding me. I am so sorry. It's While you do that, my, my turret's gonna suit it. All right, go ahead and uh, roll damage. Wait, uh, roll attack. Now it's all twenty. Oh my god! Oh! Hell yeah! <laughs> the second thirty we've had. <laughs> oh my god! Let me make sure I'm not doing this wrong. All right, uh, let me. All right, so go ahead and roll double the damage from your turret. Oh my fucking god! Uh, it it deal ten, so twenty. <gasps> Tw da da 20! 20 force. 20 force damage. Let me comprehend that while I find your turret. This is gonna take a while. Okay. I'm I'm like freaking out because holy shit, that's like I was not expecting. Uh I'm gonna put your turret right here. Like I said, the best familiar in the game. Don't at me. Oh, I'm not sure. Eh, a little small, but whatever. Wait, I'm gonna put it at like 50 out of 50 for dimensions because it's a small creature, not a tiny. But what if it was? That's up to you. Do you wanna make it tiny or small? Nah, it's fine. Just keep it whatever you want to make it. Uh, okay, mind. there we go. So 20 points of damage. Where would, where would you like to push it? Well, how many points of damage again? Uh, 20, 20, 20 total force damage. And he gets knocked back 5 feet. Okay, knocked back 5 feet. Whoa! It, uh, it kind of like... Uh, your turret just like this... 
Well, it's just like this force of ball that it hits a square in the face and it like roars as it gets knocked back. Alright, that was my turret, so now it is me. And since I do not like this person, I am going to take out my magic missile wand and throw out six charges at it. Okay, let me take a look. Um, Apex, uh, it doesn't have shield. Go right ahead with the damage. So that's, uh, how many? It's a six level cast, so three... Wait, no, hang on, I need to do math. Right, the original so was three, first level's three, and then five more. Eight. So eight, so... Twenty-four points of four, it's just like four stands, just like... Just like a little like pew, 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 from your uh, from your wand, just like just like kept on piercing through. Ouch! Oh, well, that's that's a really that's a good amount of damage there. I'll say. Alrighty. Speaking of which, it is going to use its legendary action another uh, another one. Uh, to and it's going to cast uh, cure wounds on itself, fourth level. And it heals itself for 20 points. Oh, that. Well, I, I still did a net gain on HP damage, so... Yeah, and that's... I heal everything I have done. That's fair. That's fair. Would that be your turn? <laughs> Guess that'll be my turn. Okay. Um, hey, you're up. Alrighty. First up... I'm Hexblade cursing him. Bonus action. Okay. I'm gonna like uh check the length, so uh It's about fifty five feet, so you we need to dash all the way to get up to it. Magic carpet. That would take an action to like I got ring, so I don't okay. have to get up to him. I've got a different plan for my action. I just want to blast him first with the curse. With oh, with Eldritch Blast? His first turn. Also, I still have Teleport up. Wait. Teleport? But that's also my bonus action, From so I can't actually do that. Never mind. Session. Far Step. Oh, yeah. Far far Step. So, uh, you have Far Step. I still can't control my Mike. Alright, so what, what do you want to do? That's the bonus action, so I can't do that, actually. Ah, damn. Uh, i got to move for it. Controlling. Um. Nord. Yeah. Yeah. I can't control my token. Oh my! I'm sorry. It's. I thought I. I got. Uh. I am so sorry. There we go. <laughs> sorry, it happens. Probably right? got distracted. There we go. Now, ruler, am I within range? Now I gotta scoot up a little more. Okay. Right. Mm -hmm. Within 30 of him. And. Okay. Okay, and then for my action, I'm going to cast. How's everybody doing on health, by the way? Is everyone as low as me, or is it just me who's hurt? I, huh? I'm fine. I mean, I took a little bit of damage, but I'm not, like, in danger. Alright, so what are you going to do? I have 20... You're act you, you sound a little robotic, what are you saying? So I have 20 hit points, so... Yeah, you definitely need to get the healing for yourself there. Um, I have an idea. I just need to know: Can I upcast What's... with tokens? Uh, depends on the spell. What spell do you have in mind? What's the most potent healing spell? <laughs> At level five. 
I, that I can get up to level five. It's probably it's probably cure wound still. Yeah, cure. Or okay. if you wanted, you could cast mass healing word at fifth level. It's also an option. Yeah, but we're not all injured, so. Or yeah, cure wounds. Cure wounds. Yeah. If it, I, that's why I asked if everybody was badly injured like I am. Or was I just the only one that the, oh. the hook guy hit in the fight? Yeah, I thought the hook guy had I thought the hook guy and like this boy had it out for you. So I'm gonna Yeah. Can I upcast cure wounds to level five? Go ahead and roll a Christmas statement throw. Eighteen. Three plus five. Eighteen. That, uh, that's succeeding. No, wait, not. Five plus eight, I think. Yeah, plus eight. Alright, so, okay, so, uh, let me take a look at, at the token. Uh, let me, let me see what it does. I think I got, like, four left. Alright. One yeah, cast a DC, th that's a DC thirteen. So yeah, you made it, and you and you managed to cast. Uh, like you're able to do the impossible in that core, and you managed to cast a fifth level cure wounds on yourself. So that is five D eight. Not bad. So I roll each D8 individually, or yes, yeah, uh, and then and then add your Chris uh, spellcasting modifier at the end. Each one or just once? Just once of once. Okay. And do you want me to multiply or roll all? It's just, it's just like or just like slash roll five D uh, uh five D um eight plus four. First time casting this uh, healing spell. Not being condescending or anything, just like, just curious. Yeah. Fair enough. I'm a warlock. I don't get I don't get healing spells. <laughs> uh, I rolled one d8 and got a seven, so I want to keep that. <laughs> uh, so uh, I then I then rolled the rest. Here's the other four. So seven plus si sixteen. That's not horrible. That's twenty three. You heal yourself back up to about. Uh, I think you had twenty one hit points before. You're at, at forty four hit points. That's not bad. Plus my, plus my spellcaster modifier, which is five. Yeah, so five, five. Oh yeah, so seven plus twenty-three, twenty-eight. You're at twenty-eight. 20, so you have forty-nine hit points. That's not bad. That's not bad. It's a whole lot better than twenty-one. Definitely. Okay. Time to start swinging. Well, next round. I don't get the swing now. Would that be your turn? Unless that token doesn't take an action. Wait, would that be your turn? Yeah, I've used that. I've actually used my all my stuff this turn. All right. As serious, it's your turn. All right. Uh, first off, does uh, the unconscious... It's a kid, right? The, uh, the kid over there. The, the kid is, like, right around right here. He's not on the map. For uh, simplicity's sake, Dwist over there is face down, uh, unconscious. Okay. Uh, does he like look injured? What, uh, Dwist or the kid? Uh, uh. Oh right, that would. The have been guy, useful. this, the guy who is <laughs> unconscious. Like, uh, um, this guy. Sorry, he, I forgot. He doesn't appear to be unconscious, but and the healing spell w w wouldn't hurt. All right. Uh, so he's he's not like in critical condition. Yeah, basically something uh, something could wake him up, uh, but a simple push from uh, from Hanford isn't enough. Something a bit uh, that requires a bit more effort to uh, wake him up. All right, I'm gonna Let's see. I'm just gonna move over here. I'm just like snap okay. out of the action. And I'm going to use uh, one of my guiding bolts uses from my star map. 
on uh, the big ugly dude. Okay. Okay, so we're gonna use. Okay, guiding bolt. Go ahead and roll attack. I'm pretty sure. Eleven. Eleven misses as your guiding bolt is like. Fly past it. All right. Could they use their dream token to turn it into a critical hit? Well, let me check. You have your dream. You still have your dream token, right, Asterius? Uh, yeah. I don't think I used it. I don't remember them ever using it. Yeah, you can. Yeah, yeah you can use your dream token. You have one, though. You gotta think about it. Yeah, I'm. I'm charisma? gonna use the dream. Uh, one. Dream token to make that hit, if I may. As your as your reaction. Okay. It hits. Go ahead and roll. Oh, roll damage. All right. So it's now a critical hit. No, it's a regular hit. Yeah. Is there a critical hit option? Yeah. F uh, a turn any successful hit into a critical hit. That's the option. Um, yeah, and I missed, so I have to. I never mind have, then. Have to make it a hit. Would be nice though, but nope. Twelve. Fourteen. Fourteen. Fourteen points of damage total? Mm hmm. Okay. Um, However, Mier to tap into the powers of the uh, uh, of the Dream Will, and like the uh, the, uh, the guided bolt. It's also radiant damage, if yeah. that makes any difference. Radiant damage? Well, let me take mm, a look yeah, at its resistances. No, it's not resistant. So it takes the full blunt of 14 points of radiant damage and is now glowing. Yeah, so everyone. Uh, well, the next attack roll okay. made against it has advantage. Nice. Is that your turn? Yes, that's my turn. It is now the quarry's turn. And it, it, and yep. it is going to use its procession ability on you, Huntred. Well, Christmas saving throw. Uh oh. Reception. That doesn't sound good. Wow. Okay. No. Wait. Wait. Um. Can see within five feet. No, it's going to like make its move. It is no. Actually. Go mm -hmm. on. Walk past me. I dare you. Actually, I think it's fit. Three. Four. Five. Six, seven, and and uh -oh. actually, it's going to possess you, uh, as serious. Oh boy! <laughs> Roll charisma saving throw. Oh, not charisma! Ah, uh. oh, fuck! Oh, uh, eighteen. It tries to wrap around you, but you manage to like uh get it off of you. It tries to get into your mind. Tries to get inside of you, but through sh either sheer luck or sheer force of personality, you're, uh, you're, you're still you. Wow, dude. Whatever happened to buying dinner first? <laughs> <laughs> oh! <laughs> oh! <laughs> I usually like to be wine and dine first. Oh my god! Okay! Okay! I think that is one of those are rewards. Oh my god! Okay, so it fails its, uh... Its, uh, its, uh, its, its attempt. And regains its, uh, its legendary action. And let's see if it, has, if it has any bonus actions. Because wow, you were you were really lucky there, you know. Kind of how this works. I just opened it up. Okay, so it's, it uses up this turn. Unfraid, it's your uh, front half. It's your turn. Okay, um... Hmm. I'm still charmed, right? Yes. 
Okay, then uh, Humphrey's gonna reach the Drees. Okay. And try to wake him up. I'm gonna count that as a using uh, object interaction, so you wake him up. He wakes up, he looks at you, says, huh. He looks around, sees uh, sees the child in danger, looks at the uh, looks at the quarry demon, says, What's going on? Grace, look at my big friend there. I don't know why well, we are I think we're sparring with him right now, but Are you out of your mind? You could you call that thing your friend? I am out of my mind. He kind of like slap. He kind of like he kind of like slaps you in retaliation. <laughs> you can go ahead and make a a, a uh, wisdom saving throw, because I just find that really funny. Wait. Okay. If it fails the saving throw, it is until, until you are or you are uh, or your kind of anything harmful to it. So never mind. Never okay. mind. Never mind. It's like are uh, you out of? I rolled a twenty two anyway. Just for comedic effect. So, can you get another try at the end of each of his turns? <laughs> I saw. <laughs> Wait, do I am I still charmed or not? You're still charmed, yeah. It's it's for it's. I just like I just realize I'm looking at the spell right now. Oh, and it must make it to, uh, uh, with some saving throw, and also with the fans if you and companion or companions are funny. So go, you can go ahead and make another wisdom saving throw. Pick the higher. I was mistaken. I rolled a twenty ten. I rolled a twenty two. So, so you succeeded on your saving throw. You're good. You're good. But you, so I'm gonna have you, like, you, would you still like to wake Drizzt up? Already woke him up. Yeah. Yeah. He's awake, and he, and as a bit of a free action, just uh, just for simplicity's sake, what would you what would you say to him instead? Like what is like when he asks what's going on? Let's say it still happened like it did. <laughs> it's it's you're still kind of like still under uh, the the charm, but um. So it's not you or your companions doing harmful to Okay. Uh, <laughs> anyway, take it. I uh, use the auction to wake Driz. Okay. He he wakes. He he stands up. Still, look, still looks still looks kind of interesting. So he'll be at half his hit points for this uh, for this fight, right? And that means he'll be at uh, seventy two hit points out of 174. Mm. 40, 44. And so worrying that he's at half, huh? Yeah, it's definitely not bigger than my maximum hit points. Yeah, he was initiative. He's gonna roll um, initiative, so give me a second. I the doubt it's gonna be higher than thirty, so he'll at least get a turn. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. Um. He rolls a twenty-two, so he goes before um Aiden. So he's going next. Yes. So. Yeah, I take it. I don't have anything to rest of so that'll be my turn. Okay, Drizzt is next. He stands up, using his half of his movement. And he's going to summon his loyal panther and says, uh, Guinevere, come to me! And he, and he like, he pulls out the uh, this figurine of a panther and tosses it in the air. And, uh, and, and, uh, and near him is a, is a big uh, uh, Panther. There we go. Hog. Oh, but I did uh, something very good. Oh, Jesus, that's a big Panther. <laughs> you uh, Humphrey, you're like, whoa! <laughs> <laughs> uh, like, whoa, that's a big Panther! No, no let's go exactly what he said. And he kind of like uh, gives a scimitar sim 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 face. He says, "We will fight uh, this thing together." Are you with me? Yes, sir. And he doesn't have really much in the way of bonus action, so that's his. So that's his turn. <laughs> a bit underwhelming, but whatever. So, Aiden, you're up. All right. Uh, Okay, I should probably move my character, uh, maybe here. 
<laughs> okay. Okay, uh... Oh, is this an enemy as well? He's a... The, the panther is an no. ally, and he and the panther goes uh, goes uh, goes after right after uh this its turn, so it shares its okay. initiative. There's currently right, only uh, one enemy. All right. Uh, yeah. I'll, anyways, I'll, anyway, anyways, I'll fire the arrow. <laughs> okay. Uh, would you like to use a bonus action to turn uh, to use planet warrior, or are you good? Uh, uh planet warrior. <laughs> okay. Uh, that's a miss. Oh fuck! Well, uh... flies over. Uh, flies over it. Make another mm -hmm. attack. Ah, uh, miss again. Oh my god! You like you miss? Arrows fly past it. Ah. Uh. So is that it for me? Uh, yeah, that's it. Uh, that's it for you. Use your your a bit of your movement, your bonus action, and your action. So yeah. Well, well, that sucks. Yep. Hmm. Apparatus, you're up. That is me. I'm going to, first off, swap my wand back to my staff, since I'm going to need that back. Okay. And... Bippity-boppity... <laughs> turret. 21. 21 hits, going to roll damage. Not the highest. Five force for the turret and get pushed back. Five force? Oh, so it takes five uh, points of force damage and it gets pushed back, like you said. Okay, like, I guess that direction. Uh, good thinking, good thinking. And then I'm gonna uh, shoot through my arcane firearm, my... Oh, uh, man, all of my leveled spells are saving throws. That's not good at all. I'll firebolt it. Okay, go on go on a will damage uh will attack. Twenty three oh, hits! That was so close to win that one. Oh my god. Twenty three hits! And you hit it for <laughs> nine points of fire damage. This is a, a D6 That's or a D8. lot of burping today. Oh, nine points of fire damage, go ahead. Oh D eight. D eight for arcane fire arm. You're right. For for fourteen. Fourteen, nice. And I'm just <laughs> over here. Okay, it is going to cast a uh, teleport. It is going to uh, it is going to cast teleport as a legendary action on 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 Aiden. or it is going to cast uh um it is going to cast a teleport not on uh, not to elsewhere, but it is going to teleport close to Aiden. I'm surprised it's uh -oh. not me. Like, I did the most damage to it currently. Well, you're right, actually. It is going to teleport near you. <laughs> Alright, you're. No, uh, and that will be your turn? Yes. Abe, your turn. All right, eight. Hey, you're up. Right. Well, that's the rule. Really. Well, I'm just gonna walk straight up to him, and I saw the wave about a swing. Okay, go ahead and roll, roll your attacks. It's a nineteen. Nineteen hits, barely. Nat 20. Okay, both hit. Both hit. Go ahead and roll damage. Okay. Uh, just damage from your uh, just from your swords. Uh, the the hex doesn't count towards the uh, critical hit. I don't think. I get plus three damage per hit with on hex on the cursed. Oh target. yeah, you're right. Just just a three, just a flat three. Okay. Just and champ crits. So I get six. Wait. Six to this. Six from, I'm just gonna from roll what it's. Oh, yeah! Because you attack twice. That, that still kind of counts. 
40, no, where, do you, where do you get the 46 from? Oh yeah, great, great size. So 15, so that's 30. Okay, 30. Okay, so 30, 40, 46 points of damage. Holy shit. Forty-six points of damage. Let's go with that. <laughs> Let's go with that. Okay. Would that be your? Uh, would that be your turn? Uh, hey. Is that all? I could teleport away, so I'm not within swinging distance, but I, I, I'm the best one to survive most of his uh, mental attacks. <laughs> Alrighty. It is, it is going to use this legendary action um, uh, uh, and uses this pincer on you, Abe. Yeah. I'll swing over here. Huh? Uh, Okay, so it, it was just a pincer on you instead, apparatus. How many legendary actions does this guy have? Well, we used up two points. That would be the third one he's successfully used. Um, does a twenty-two hit? Yes, it does. Alrighty, you take ten points of of, of bludgeoning damage, and you are grappled as it wraps his tail around you and lifts you up. Apparatus does not look amused. <laughs> That's honestly not as bad as it could have been. Okay, would that uh, be your turn, um, Abe? Mm, yeah. That's all of it. Ah, uh, serious, you're up. Alright. All I want to do. I am going to reach into um, the pouches I have hanging from my belt, and I'm going to pull out uh, a couple of seeds and a piece of feldspar, and I'm going to clap my hands together and cast Moonbeam on uh, oh. the big fucking demon. It's a dream demon. It's going to roll the advantage. Yep. Uh, so, Constitution saving throw with a DC of 17. Oh my god, that's your one! But both accounts! I think it failed. I, this may be a guess, but I think it failed, Nord. It's going to use its legendary resistance to turn into a. <laughs> it's, 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 it's going to turn, use its legendary resistance to turn that critical failure into a success. All right. Well, so still takes then, half. He, then it takes one d10 of radiant damage. It's uh, uh yeah. Instead of two. And that is a two. Oof. <laughs> take two points of radiant damage. It's just like Moonbeam. Just like. Where's the movie coming from? Oh yeah, holding the holding the ceiling. Quite it's underwhelming. It's like soft moonlight, just you know, giving it some good lighting. Seems a little bit, but eh. Well, it's turns next, so well on its on its last luxury action before its turn, it is going to it is going to spin you apparatus. And I think it can do that with advantage. No, it, no, no, it doesn't. So it's just going to use its stain attack. If I recall, it is disadvantage on any attack that isn't against me. Now that it's grappled me. <laughs> All right, uh, grapple, grapple, grapple. From what I read oh, on that uh, All right. rulings. I, I'm looking at the rules right now. Honestly, grappled is not that good of a thing to do because it screws you over hard. All right. Um. 
No, it just doesn't make any uh, advantage. It doesn't disadvantage or advantage. It just uh, it just attacks you. I think. I could be wrong, so let me know. Okay. Natural. I think it missed. Uh, yeah, natural one, and you you manage to wiggle around and it and it like tries to pin, uh, and tries to like hit you with its pincer uh, with the steiner, and and it misses. I imagine the stabs are doing my dud yeah, zones so where I'm made out of like m a lot of metal and wood. Just like where like bing! doesn't hit anything. It's like boing, bounces off, bounces off, bounces off metal like a like Loki trying to like use the scepter on Tony Stark, but hits the little like uh. But 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 hits uh, but uh but hits the arc, arc reactor. reactor. Yeah, the arc reactor and sets like bing. It growls at you. It is not amused. Neither is that. Well, actually, apparatus looks a little. That makes now. two of them. <laughs> apparatus Hunter. is now amused. Hunter was <laughs> temporarily amused, but he was charmed. Yeah, you're still charmed. So uh, wait, how am I still charmed? I thought I broke it. Oh you yeah, you had you uh, you rolled with the fans because uh, you're attacking it. So yeah, yeah. So I'm no longer charmed. Yeah, you're not charmed. You are never charmed. But you woke up with twist anyway because he's unconscious, lying on the ground. I'm just gonna like put that recon there for for uh, for consistency's sake. So it is now its turn. Okay. It is going to. Okay, I'm gonna I'm gonna roll d6. One. Okay. It, it is going to cast... Okay. Oh, it started its turn in Moonbeam, right? Yeah, I think. So it has to make it save again. <laughs> is that right, uh, uh, Sirius? Uh, sorry, what? 21. It started... It started its turn in your moonbeam again. Oh, yeah. 21. Yeah, it makes the save, so that's 1d10 again. And that's an 8. 8? Hey. So, so that's 4 points of damage? Mm hmm. Okay. And it, okay, um, Ed is going to like move. Uh, a little or, bit. No, wait, it takes uh, 8 damage because um, I roll 1d10 instead of 2 when it makes a save. Yeah. That's a way to do half Actually, damage. close my roll 20. Hang on. Oops. Or am I doing that wrong? Um, uh, so you roll 2d10, so roll 2d10. Um, 1d10. Right. I mean, if, if they're rolling 2d10, rolling 1 is still... Okay, that's, oh, that's fair, that's fair. Uh, okay. I was mistaken. I'm sorry. Okay, no, that's fine. It's just not in the normal it's... way of doing it. Okay, so yeah, yeah I, I'm sorry. I'm um, my uh, last DM used to have the dice when we said half damage. So yeah, yeah. It, it will. It won't work if like odd numbers though is the thing. Yeah, odd numbers. Like you just like you just you can't really. No, of course. Yeah. Right, just, uh, I'll at least just this one. So it is going to like move, uh, move it towards uh, Unfred, and it, it is going to to wail on on the both of you. So first off, it is going to use its Cena on you, um, Hunfred. Sixteen. That fails. All right. Okay, it's going to use Cena again on you, Hunfred. That succeeds. Okay, and you take 18 points of piercing damage and 17 points of psychic damage. Roll a wisdom saving throw, Hunfred. Oh god. So you take about 35 points of damage total. Oh uh, fuck! 23. 23. That's a 23. Or wisdom saving throw. Yeah, 23 on wisdom saving throw. Yeah, you're not frightened. Yeah, like it, uh, it tries to seal some sort of like, you know, like a fear into you. That but fails. Yeah. Uh, no, you succeed. You succeed on, on succeed. the. Yeah, you, you you succeed. Yes. So I'm not terrified. You're not terrified. No. No. Yeah. <laughs> oh, misread it. Okay. Misread me. Yeah. It is yeah. going to make its 
How much damage do I get? 18 plus 17, right? Yeah, it is going to make its pincer on you, Hunfred. Wait, again? 18. Yes. That succeeds. Can't you use your thingy to make your AC higher? Oh, wait, yeah, I can use the... Sh yeah, you're I have to your, uh, you're a war, you're a war wizard, right? Yeah. Yeah, but if, if he uses this, easy. that means he can only cast his cantrips on his, on his next turn. It depends right. if you want to use a spell slot or not, I guess, in this situation. Yeah, hold on. Just something to consider, I suppose. Where is my... Oh, yeah, I can use shield. Alrighty, uh, shield. Poof! Oh, yeah, you raise your hand, and how would you like to describe your shield tail? It fell like a big bubbly shield. Whoop! You, you raise your hand and, like, yeah. and, and you know, like a big bubbly uh, barrier uh, uh, appears around you. And as like uh, raises its pincer on you, tries to grab you, it could uh, get it through the barrier and retracts. And that would be its turn. Oh wait, I took like 35 points of damage. Total, yes. Jesus Christ, I went, f I went from full health to like almost dead. Well, don't worry, you still have your character if, uh, if your character dies in the dream. Yeah. Ch uh, but for Abe, I don't know. Alright, so, um, it, it, it ends its turn. Hunfrey, you're up. Hey, yeah, um... Territory for me. <laughs> How much? Hunter to use Misty Step as a bonus action spell. And oh. gonna retreat behind the Panther. <laughs> you, you know, how would you describe your Misty Spell, uh, the Misty Step spell? Just like we will... Okay, continue. Us. There's gonna be a, a flash of lights. It's gonna zoom past the Driz and Panther. Driz kind of like looks past you, then looks back at the at the quarry. Yeah. And there's, and then they're gonna oh, talk. Uh... We it's. <laughs> um. Gems. Hold on. <laughs> Wait, where is that? Hold on, sorry. I'm just trying to get through the... I'm gonna go with... Uh... Yeah, I won't complicate I'm just gonna go with Firebolt. Okay, Firebolt, go and roll damage. You made attack. <laughs> Yeah, damn it. Oh, oh my, oh, no. oh my, oh yeah, no. yes, I'm, I apologize. 19. 19 hits, barely. Or 11 points of damage. 11? Okay, so it kind of like, uh, like, hits, like, it's weird flesh. Oh, that would be Humphrey's turn. Alrighty, it's going to use its, uh, legendary action and use its, uh, use its, uh, once of its, uh, once of its attacks on, on apparatus. It's going to use the stain. Okay, it's up to four. No, one, uh, make... Okay, so... No, uh, it, uses up to, it uses up to uh, two of its actions. So, uh, Steiner, Steiner, Steiner. Nine... Twenty-seven, that's a twenty-seven hit. Yeah. So you take ten points of piercing damage. Minimum. And, and uh... 17, at, at 7 points of psychic damage, so 17 points of damage total, I would like you to roll a wisdom saving throw. Oh my, oh god, that's not good, that's not good. Oh no, I'm frightened. Yeah, you Whatever are frightened, as like, as it like pierces with. through mm -hmm. your body again, as you like feel a little confident. Now you're not so confident anymore because you're kind of like scared of this, uh, scared of this uh, big ass creature. Oh no, I want to move away. If only that was so bad when I'm grappled. <laughs> <laughs> that makes a double scare. 
<laughs> That's, uh, makes it kind of hard to win, doesn't it? Yeah, it's now Dwiz's turn. Okay, got to take a look at his uh, stat block. As a bonus action, he is going to use um, Second Wind. <coughs> we're, storing about, we're storing 16 hit points, so he is at 88 hit points. And he's gonna run up, uh, and he's gonna like run up to this guy. And, uh, and because he's exhausted, he is going to make his attack rolls with disadvantage. Wait, isn't it a certain level? Isn't isn't like level two that gives you disadvantage on attacks? Uh, level three. Or let me take a look at exhaustion real quick. I thought level one gave you like ability check. Yeah, he's at level. He's at level three. He's he level three. Yes. Why is he at level? Th what happened to him in the time we met him that made him at level three? Well, yeah. he had a long, tireless uh, journey. If you notice, if you recall correctly, his sense was shaking when you meet him. Not a robot. He is suffering so. He's going to, weird. and he is going to make an attack with his frost scimitar. With the defense. Okay, I'll gotta like roll again. Twenty-four hits! Holy shit! I mean, yeah, he's a plus 12. He's very likely to hit, even if disadvantaged. Y y yeah! Yeah! Okay! Fuck! <laughs> Sorry, that's just like, oh, fuck, I, I just realized how powerful he is. Like, canonically. He needs to roll a 7 or a higher to hit him, Nord. Yeah! Sure thoughts us through, Nord. Alright, so 10 points of uh, slashing damage. 14 points of cold damage, so that's uh, four, uh, four points of uh, cold damage, so that's uh, 14 points of damage total. Slashes him at one of his arms in, in hopes to try and get, uh, get it off of you, apparatus. He's going to do again with this, again with this uh, far scimitar, again with this advantage. Is he like a 24 bar? again? Oh. <laughs> Is he like a totem barbar? No! What? No, he's not. According to uh, according to uh, his like 3.5 stats, he multi-class into ranger, barbarian, and f uh, and fight. I fight air, I think. Uh, but in uh, but in this case, he's most likely to, he identifies most as a fighter. Cancel up the disadvantage. No, he's no, he's not high enough. Uh, he's not have enough levels in barbarian. He's like like one level in barbarian. No. Okay, I wasn't expecting to roll consistently. Oh, uh, that that well. Okay, so he rolls uh, eleven points of slashing damage and uh, four, so fifteen. Another slash at the arm. Okay. Uh, okay, and he's going to try again with this defending uh, scimitar. But again, with the fanch. Okay, about time. 13, uh, yeah, 13 misses, and he, like, tries to attack with this other scimitar. And, and the, uh, uh, while, while his frost scimitar, like, has, like, build up frost on the, uh, Thane's arm. Didn't do much effect as, like, just, like, move its arm away from Twist, and just, like, struggles to move his scimitar, uh, in a fast, uh, fashion. And uh, that's uh, that's his turn. It is now the uh, the Panthers' turn. As it like uh, uh, moves this way, and uh, let me take a look at, at its at its character sheet. And it, it, it and it is no, it's actually going to pounce. No, that's no, a it big can't. Pounce. It, it can't. Uh, I don't think it has enough movement to pounce. So. It's going to like leap, uh, leap to uh, leap by a uh, twist, and it is going to uh, claw it. Twenty-three. Twenty-three hits, and it takes uh, and uh, and the uh, quarry takes uh, twelve points of slashing damage, and it like claws at its back. Ah!
And, uh, yeah, that's his, that's his turn. Aiden, you're up. Wait, oh, actually, right. by the way, um, it has hmm? two point legendary actions left, so it is going to try to use its pincer on... No, not its pincer. It's going to use its... Uh, let me take a look. It's going to try to use its stain attack... No, pincer attack on um, Drist. And I think I'm, I'm going to look, take a look at, at exhaustion real quick. No, it, it's just a re regular all attack, so it's, it's just going to use this pincer. 22, and Drist's armor class is 20. It, hit, uh, it hits Drist, and it's, it's going to hit Drist for 15 points of uh, a bludgeoning damage. He's grappled. As uh, as the at uh, uh, as an acidless lift twist in the air uh, uh, lift with this pincer, both uh, apparatus you and twist are grappled. Um, I'll deal with it. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Interesting scenario that uh, the both of you are in. Uh, uh, the, the all of your win. So anyway, um, it's Aiden. Aiden's turn. It's now Aiden's turn. Yeah. Uh, all right. <clears throat> uh, okay, I'm quickly gonna move back here and gonna do another attempt again. Okay, would you like to use your uh, bonus action for Planet Warrior or different attack? Ah, uh, Planet Warrior, you... and I yeah, that's yeah, it is. <laughs> Flies above um, the uh, quarry as it like I kind of like uh, as it like just like uh, moves around uh, moves the uh, uh, apparatus and just with its um, uh, pincers. So it, you miss. Would you like to make another attack? Wait. All right. Finally, a better one. All right. Plan a warrior time. Yes. Two D eight plus six. That's Fifteen. Fifteen. Nice. Uh, Fifteen. As like after like square, uh, square, uh, square, uh, square, uh, square on his body and like reads and pain, but it, but his uh, grasp on twist and upright still remain firm. Probably for the okay. best in the end, honestly. Yeah. All right. Finally. <laughs> All right. Would that be your turn? Uh, yes. Sure. All right, it is going to not do anything because uh, with, this, with this legendary actions because yeah, it's two pincers out of hands. Apparatus, it's your turn. All right, since I am currently not able to move away, you can you can still escape. Yes, but I can't move, so the current feeling of frightened uh, it won't force me to move since I can't move. <laughs> So, you know, I'm going to do the sensible option. Kill and... the fire. Yeah, I'm casting Thunder Wave on it. To push nope. it that way. <laughs> okay, uh, Thunder that Wave. Works. Thunder Wave is a, uh, you can't save. save. You can't save. With advantage, of course. Twenty-seven. He saves, but he still takes damage. Alright, how much damage? We'll see. Uh, 11 divided by 2. So, 5. Round it down, remember? And then Maturit, mm. since, you, as you said, all of his arms are currently uh, currently being used. Pops down from my shoulder. Turns around. Does some beep boops. Um, technically... What? No, it's not affected by by frightened. So go ahead, and uh, that's an eighteen. That's the miss. Dang. It kind of like bounces off, you as you know, as and as you have you as as has you been noticing, it kind of like this like this shimmering armor surrounding um the uh, Tuscora quarry. Hey, I'm not gonna add my thingy to it, so it's fine. That'll be my turn. Okay, Abe, it's your turn. I got a question. Yeah. Oh wait, do I make a save at the end of my turn? Uh, yes. 
do that first. 18! You're no longer frightened! Pog. So that was a complete waste. I mean, you still got the slinger damage and... <laughs> you're, you're still you're still grappled, but you're in a better position than before. Well, you don't want to be by precision. Abe, hey, it's your turn. Okay. My okay, question. Uh, how long did it take us to get down and start this fight? Why'd you ask? Because first step only lasts a minute. <laughs> well, it's been about a minute since you, uh, uh, since you used it and jumped down, so... Okay, then we'll just go with... That last teleport was just the last little bit of magic I had for that. Yeah, it's been more than a minute if memory serves me right. Probably. Let's just go with the last bit of magic for that. Um, sadly, this doesn't have enough cast, but uh, this will probably be very useful. Uh, I'm going to cast Aura Vitality with... Well, of course, the saving throw. So far. Alright, so what do you... Okay, so that's... Uh, keep forgetting my curse. It's uh, 30, 20. Alright, you make it. You can cast uh, Aura Vitality at what level? Uh, it's at 30. It does not upcast. Sadly. Unless you want to make it upcast. <laughs> no, I don't think it, it can, you can upcast. Alright, so uh, 10 hit or points. Targets. All right, or uh, Vitality. Huh? What? No, that's not how that works. What? As a bonus action, I can cause any creature within 30 feet of me to regain 2d6 hit points. Unfortunately, Huntford is not in uh, that range, but you can... Oh, you I haven't moved yet. That's my action. I'm, I'm going to move. I'm going to use this. Okay. Who's really badly hurt? I'm, and <laughs> I'm on 20 HP. Well, 22 HP at the moment. But you probably help Hunfred, since they're not dealing with Hunfred right now. I, I am much far away protected, so I think you should get healed. I mean, this guy can teleport, and he's currently being surrounded. I don't know if he'll, like, teleport away from everyone, like, focusing on him at the moment. To try to oh. get away. That's why I wanted you to get healing. And yeah. I probably can survive it. Hopefully. We'll see, though. So, what's it then? Oh, yeah. Oh. So, uh, Abe? Uh, what do you want to do? Yeah, you're in th you're in third th feet range. Uh, you can heal Hunfred. Yeah. Yeah. That's why I picked the spot. Um. <laughs> Wait, the teleport isn't that a legendary? Yes. And he's out of and he can't do legendary actions while holding people. No, he can. Yeah, it can. Yeah. Oh, he has to, like, oh, North City couldn't. But he couldn't attack with his legendary accent since his hands are full. Well, it can still since... attack. It can. It can still attack. It just had to like, well, uh, use his pincers to like slam your body into another body. I don't think that's fully how that works, but yeah, yes, yes. Okay, I'm gonna. I'll heal apparatus with that kind of. Saying being used <laughs> sounds like that might hurt apparatus being used as a club. <laughs> <laughs> I I'm almost tempted to have a bit of a house rule like if you use a body that that counts as an arm strike, <laughs> which actually would make him do less damage. So that would be great, actually. <laughs> I'm I'm joking, but it's just going to use a pincer. On uh, okay, so Abe, you're going to use your bonus action to heal apparatus. Yep. 2d6. 2d6. Go ahead and roll. Tasty. I just realized uh, how good Aura Vitality is, is on the, on the Life Cleric, or that one Druid uh, subclass, actually. Uh, Wildfire, I think. Wildfire.
Oh yeah. Oh, the, when the day time that, uh, that I will reach level five yeah. in wizard, so I can get aura vitality, uh, because my character is a mark of healing halfling. Do the math. That's nice. That's nice. Uh, okay. Nice so fortune. okay. So um, that's two d six. So that's um, I'm gonna I'm gonna be nice and say you heal eight hit points, apparatus. Yeah, it does. It does. It says eight right there. So. <laughs> Alrighty, so on its legendary action, it's going to use this pincer not. and slam your body into Drist. So it's going to be a counter. Uh, uh, so that's going to count as a uh, uh, as its uh, 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 as its attack with its pincer. So it's going to be seventeen. That misses. I'm trying to describe how th how that would work work logically. Like thick armor, doesn't hit my uh, weak parts. Uh, well, it's, no, it's just like grappling you and just like slams it, it just slams you into drift. <laughs> maybe he's he maybe apparatus is heavier than he anticipated. Yeah, then they into yeah, it's apparatus <laughs> weighs three hundred pounds and it's going to like sl try slam into uh, into drift, but like apparatus uh, ma manipulated the uh, trajectory so it kind of like misses. I don't know. And they didn't get hurt. It's weird, but there you go. Pathetic. <laughs> can I... Can I get aura vitality? That'd actually be really cool. No, I can't. Alright, I'm serious. It's your turn. I have something I would be supposed to uh, I'm gonna move my moonbeam over to uh, uh, the future again. Okay, so it's so. Uh, so it's there now. It's going to make a Constitution saving throw with a badge on its own on its turn. Mhm. Mm okay, that's a bonus action, right? <coughs> no, uh, moving it is an action. Okay, you have your bonus um, action and your movement. I'll stay where I am. Uh, but I and I'll use my bonus action to go into my Yeah. I had to use uh, up your story form earlier, so um just to let you know, so you have so you this is the second time using it. Yeah. So uh I use my final uh well, wild shape to go into starry form. Okay, like, like vines and veils of the uh, of the draconic prophets, like of like a like the equivalent of a dragon mark appears on your on your flesh. And uh, yeah, right back. Yep. And that I be... think that's uh, my turn. Yeah. All right. It's going to. Uh, it's not the quarry's turn, and it's going to make its cards to semi throw with this advantage. With, with advantage. Sorry. 25. Uh, that succeeds. I'm going to roll a d6. Oh. oh no! Oh no! Its possession is recharged. Alrighty. Um, I'll just... I'll roll two d10s and I'll and half it, yeah. this time. That's an eleven, so that would be five. Five, yeah. Okay, where did I drop my pencil? Uh, yeah. Okay, on his turn, it is going to try to possess you, apparatus. Hog. Him. <laughs> Yeah, go ahead and roll Charisma Saving Throw. It's Charisma? Yes. Really? Yes. That's surprising. Oh no! Oh no, what will I do being grappled and all? No, it kind of like, a, as it like wraps its, its pincers around you, and kind of like, goes inside your body. And you, and... You're still, you're so inside, you can still see what's happening, but you're not in control of your own, uh... 
body. It's gone, but I promise you're possessed. You have you, you, how many hit points do you have left? How many what? How many hit points do you have left? Thirty. Okay, and okay, its initiative is its initiative is six. So let me take a look at possession. It's not. It's like you're this is good. You, you're like you're like. So you feel yourself sinking in as further and further away from your body as something else takes control. The, the quarry. Uh, Nord, I have a question. Yes? Can you dispel possession? Uh, yes. It needs to do a specific spell for this. Like, so does this spell work? Dispel magic? No. Well, yes. or counter check. Okay, I gotta check. I like how it's. Can you? Can it be dispelled? Yes. Will the spell magic work? No. Well. Both. Um, you know that dispel magic doesn't work. So. You're. Uh, you're. It's a bit stressed out seeing your friend being possessed by the quarry. Um. Uh. By the quarry. So. You're not in, uh, in a clear enough mind to uh, think to the uh, uh the options. Can I use my magic token to make it? Yes. It's spell. Will it work? Okay, so uh, which uh, which uh, which token do you have in mind? Only. Wait, which uh, which spell do you have in mind? We dispel. Dispel. Dispel what? Never gets rid of this guy. For possession, to remove possession. All right. What? What spell do you? Uh, so you know that the dispel magic doesn't work. He's asking you what this if he can use it to cast the spell you were wanting him to use. Which with the magic asking? token. Can I use the magic token to make this spell work? Yeah, you have to be specific. There are like multiple spells that that starts with the word dispel. There's like there's dispel magic. He's asking if the token does uh, uh, less restoration spell. work. That's what he's asking. W less restoration. Um, I can't say unless you roll a uh, uh unless you roll an arcana check or a religion check. Let's see. One is better. Yeah, I'll roll an Arcana check to try to figure out. I'm just gonna rack my brain. Uh, that is a 23. Dispel evil and good is the is a surefire way to get rid of someone who is, who is to get uh, to uh get rid of someone uh, to help someone who is possessed. That's that's basically your reaction. All right. So you so you hear it seriously out the spell evil or good And since oh. the spell evil and good is a fifth level spell on Fred roll a charisma saving throw Uh Charisma Wait why do I roll eighteen but why am I doing it? Wait, wait it's uh I, that's a still uh, since it's like it cannot use your class ability, so your turret just kind of like stands around, just like useless. So, yeah, that's its turn. Um. Yeah. So, okay, so it's my turn now. Yeah. So I can use a uh, magic token to remove possession. To cast dispel uh, evil and good. Yes. Yeah. He rolled an eighteen. Uh, eighteen Proper on charisma. Not. Yes. Okay. Yeah, so <laughs> that possession didn't last long. Mm. Nope. All right. And let me take a look at. Let me take out. a look at the uh, spell. Dismissal. Okay. As your action, make a melee spell attack against a celestial, uh, an elemental, a fiend, uh, a, or an undead. You can so. What? Huh? Why me melee. Uh, I'm going to dismissal? like. I'm going to like a. Uh, Show you what it does. This missile's different than what we're doing, though. Plus, I don't think it's a spell. So, okay. Just want to let you know what it does. No, he wants to break the enchantment, not dismiss it back to its plane. I know. That's, just want to make sure. To As an action, you need it needs to be um, in a range of touch. You need to run up to apparatus and. I am not in range. 
Um, I'm going to be fair and ha and let you uh, go up to 30 feet. Because uh, okay. that is one of the proposed um, uh, changes, so 30 feet. Would you be okay with that? Yeah, 30 feet. So just move a bit closer. So. You were back here, weren't you? What? No, he's not. I don't know where he was. I don't know if he moves or not. He can move. He can move next to me with thirty feet. Yes. All right. I'm gonna right. like ha help you move uh, right over there. That's okay. Uh -oh. Uh -oh. Okay. Sorry about that. So, you walk up to apparatus and the hand glows, and you touch. Uh, yeah, and you touch on the shoulder, and apparatus twitches as the uh, quarry leaves your body. Um, apparatus. And it kind of like bellows a a loud roar at you, uh, Huntred. Hey, Annie. Oh no, never miss that. And would that be your turn? Mm, I'm gonna. Hunter's gonna panic, push it <laughs> with the catalytic analysis. Well, I'm going. That's uh. That's a strength. Uh, uh, it's a magical throw. effect, so uh, so uh, it's a magical effect, so advantage. Okay. Natural twenty. Oh, never mind. Yeah, and doesn't it, work. And it is going to use a slender action to use this pincer on you, Huntred. Eleven. Yes. Misses. Ah. <laughs> uh, I just noticed he has a plus nine. <laughs> oh, no. Yeah. You're lucky. You really are lucky. Yeah. <laughs> been very lucky. You've been rolling minimums a lot. <laughs> It is now uh, Dwiz's uh, uh, turn. Then you take a look at his uh, at his character sheet. Well, not character sheet, his stat block. And he is going to use well his multi attack again. Disadvantage because you know exhaustion. Okay, that's a twenty. You, he succeeds. He hits on a twenty. Yeah. Okay, so he rolls uh, 10 points of, of, of slashing damage and uh, 3 cold damage, so that's 13 total. Okay, he's going to attack again. I see, like, I, I see, like attacks with, uh, like, slashes at the, uh, uh, at the quarry and it, like, bellows out in pain. It's looking a little rough there. 16, uh, I'm feeling that 16 is going to miss. However, it dodged, it, it, like, it, it, like, moves out of the way of his, of the, his second attack. Whoosh, hits nothing but air. And for his defending scimitar. Okay. Unfortunately, dirty 20 hits. Not a, not, not a natural 20. Uh, okay. You also, you also here, right? Just want to make sure. Yes. Good. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah. And he hits it for 13 points of flashing damage. Yeah. He's been, he's definitely been very helpful. So yeah, that's his uh, uh that's his turn. And we move <coughs> over to Gwendolyn, his loyal Panther. Panther. Yeah. Panther, oh! Panther, oh! Pack tactics! Shit! Okay! She's going uh, 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 She's going to uh, roll with advantage. And she's going to use her claw again. 14. Misses. As, like, as her claws just like strike nothing but thick hide.
and the quarry is going to use another one of its uh, legendary actions, and it is going to use uh, cure, cure wounds on itself again. Casting, uh, so it's going to heal itself for uh, forty-eight plus. It heals itself for twenty-one hit points. All right, and that's uh, Dwiss's turn. As like wounds close up on its body, um, I didn't. It's your turn now. Uh, okay. Uh, okay. All right. So should move right, uh, right here. Yeah. So I have a clear shot, and I'm gonna fire my arrow. Would you like to use your Planet Warrior or another ability? Uh, Planet Warrior. Planet Warrior. Okay. 24. 24 hits, and as you aim, as you make it aim true, your arrow shimmers and you fire. And it manages to hit it near the shoulder. Go ahead and roll damage. 2d8 plus 6. That's, uh, that's 12. And yeah, 12 points, uh, uh, like let's say, 1 point of uh, force damage to 5 points of piercing damage plus 6. Uh, so 11 points of piercing damage plus 1 from the uh, force thing. So again, 12 total. Mm -hmm. Okay. Would you like to make another attack? Uh, yes. Sixteen uh, misses. Uh, uh, not a great roll. Yeah, sixteen misses. Whew! The arrow, fl oh, the arrow flies off. Uh. It's going to use its last last legendary action for the round, and it is going to use the pincer on a uh, pincer on you, a hundred. Twenty-seven. Um. Hold on. I, what, what's, what's the Arcana doing again? Alright, so uh, what's your armor class? 17. Shield will be, wouldn't be <coughs> enough, so... Yeah. 19 points uh, of no. damage. Piercing damage. Yeah. You're down? How much damage? 19. Um, I'm down. Yeah, and as of like a grab, it doesn't grab you because, well, it, it grabs you and it, cr and it like it starts to crush you and... <coughs> You black out. So I'm uh, unconscious. Yes. You're unconscious, yes. Wait, two turns. Turn one. I think it's just apparatus. Alright, apparatus, it's now your turn. It is me. I'm not grappled anymore. I will look to the person who is injured to my right. And that is um, Hunford, who is unconscious. Yes. I will take out my hand, which will then grab my stapler. <laughs> <laughs> As he gets cure wound for 10 HP. <laughs> okay, you're back up to, uh, con back to, up to full consciousness, um, Hunford. Problem is, you're grappled. Well, <laughs> about that. Dang it. <laughs> 12! I tried, guys. I tried, I really did. <laughs> it was an attempt. Yeah, it was an attempt as, like, as your turret just, like, walks along, aims, uh, aims itself at the, uh, at the, uh, at the turret, the, the, the force bolt bounces off. Yeah, okay, you must... Like... Maybe I should have stayed there unconscious. <laughs> you see, I'm trying to surround this thing to yeah. give our pal there to have a neutral attack instead of disadvantage. Because there's a lot of us around this man. <laughs> I'm hoping with me helping him there, he'll uh, be able to attack normally. Uh, Joyce notices, uh, notices, uh, notices, uh, notices surrounding the, uh, uh, the, the quarry. Nods. That is my turn. Abe, hey, you're up. Okay. Immediately, 100, you'll get 2d6 hit points. What? 
Eight hit points. You're at 18. I get to do this ten times. Okay. <laughs> Okay, then I'm going to just start swinging at him. Okay, go ahead. I guess I'm for being grappled with, so it's not really that. Flanking. <laughs> Does Sunford being there count as flanking? Uh, I don't know. Uh, yes. Okay, good, I Technically, yes. Um, I'm going to look at the flanking rules real quick. All I know is sort of surroundings a thing. I do not know when surrounding procs. Okay, so uh, okay, you're grappled, but you're you're not incap incap in incap uh, capacitated. So yes, that counts as flanking. First attack is sixteen plus eight, so that's twenty-four. Fifteen plus eight, so twenty-three. On the second one. Twenty-three hits. Alrighty, so that's enough for... Here's just... Should really open the advanced one. Uh... Oh. That that's button was a, wrong button. <laughs> that's a 14. That's a 14. I'm baffled. All right, so th that's a, uh, that's a four. Uh, that's about a, a total of fourteen points of damage. Um, as you like slash at it with its arm, it wails. I didn't and... roll it yet. Oh, what? I, it was a misclick. If you want me to use the one, I can. But... Yeah, yeah. I'm I'm assuming that you are. Okay, then I'll roll 3d6. But oh, for, uh, for 21. 22. Oh, okay, that's going to be for your next attack? That's both of them. Okay, so 23. So I had 24 and 23. Both, uh, so both attacks hit. Oh, well, I, I, have, a, I have advantage. Right nope, that's worse than the other one. So, yeah, both attacks 23 and 24. Okay, so that's going to be okay. So, 8. So there's all the 9, 14. That's 35 points of damage. Nice. As like a uh, whale added from from uh, uh whale added from the back. Uh, a whale's in pain. It's it's looking a little rough, and you kind of feel yourself a little weaker when when because you're exerting your, your power. Um. On this on this damn thing. Would that be your turn? I. Uh, yeah. Alfred, you, add, you added the hit points, right? <laughs> Just, uh, other than that, that's everything. That's all I can do. All right, eight. That's your turn. S series, you're up. Hello, everybody. Hello. Lotus, are you up? <laughs> yeah. Sorry. Um. I'm going to... Everyone's... Up on their feet, right? No one's unconscious. Nope. Uh, I'm going to use... Um, uh, another charge of my uh, Guiding Bolt. Okay. As my action. Uh, that is a 11. 11 misses. Alright. I love it, Mrs. S. The uh, guided motion like flies off, missing the target. <sighs> As my bonus action, <laughs> I'm going to use my um, uh, starry form ranged attack and hit it again. <laughs> okay, go ahead. Quite a fun this thing, I think, has more legendary actions than a Tarask. Uh. 13 plus 9. 22. 22. 22 hits. 
Alright, so 1d8 plus 5. That is uh, 7 points of damage. 7 points. Um, you use uh, uh, this glowy arrow and it like sticks out of its back. And it's back towards, uh, towards, uh, uh, towards, towards you. And it kind of like runs. <sighs> and right, cool. would that be your turn? Yep, that's my turn. It's lentary action resets and... Oh no! Oh no! Don't say oh no. We know we know you're happy about it. <laughs> <laughs> Oof. Mean. Mean. Anyway, uh I'm trying to think. Well it's just had enough and and it is going to use the three multi attacks. First oh, right. it's uh Moonbeam. Frickin' moonbeam. Uh, like, it's like Sorry. a shark, but it's frickin' moonbeam. <laughs> 22. Uh, so can I just it succeeds? not have and... that do that? Can I just, like, use my spell to make it that nat 1? Because I don't want to save anymore. It's it's getting on my nerves. Can I just still rebarbs it? Do you have your, uh, so we... Yeah, you can go ahead and cancel out the, uh, uh the constitution statement, uh, the, the advantage. Oh, so do I roll? Yeah, just roll full damage. All right, cool. You, you, you it's a verbal component. So, how would you describe with with the verbal component? Just do the uh, smack. You are getting on my nerves for the last time. Okay, and it takes full damage. And it takes fourteen points of damage. Oof. Oof. The advantage to, um... Abe, you're the only one of tokens left. I'm giving it to you in case anyone gets possessed. <laughs> to yeah. whom? To Abe. <laughs> Alright. Uh, okay, it just had... Uh, it just had fucking enough. And it is going to use its pincer on, you know, on you, Apparatus. Go on. Thirteen misses. It's going to use its claw on hunt uh, on uh. It's going to use a scener on uh, on Huntred. No, it's going to use a scener on you, Abe. Finally, we are a creature that does science. Dan. Eighteen. The creature that does... <laughs> That's an eighteen. Uh, that PA is my 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 armor is not great. Okay, you, t you take thirteen points of piercing damage and. 14 points of psychic damage, so that's about 27. Yeah. I, I would need you to roll a yeah. some saving throw. After that, so 7. You'll so, I only take 20 in total. Oh, yeah. Psychic resistance. Yep. And go ahead and roll a wisdom saving throw, and I think you roll with, with advantage because you're a college star. Yep. Finally, the creature that does psychic damage attacks with it. We've had a few. I rolled eight both times. Wow. Yeah, you feel like you feel your power. And you feel like you're 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 packed. You're bond with your uh your your risen quarry, weakening, and and it, and it feels with dread, with with doubt. You're frightened. Oh, no, you don't. I'm not losing my friends. And 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 it just like it just. Like it, it bellows out and it's going to use its claw to attack Huntry. It just had enough, you know. Feeling is mutual. Twenty. Uh, I'm gonna use shield. It tries to like attack you with its claw, but it couldn't pierce through the barrier that you just put up. And that's its turn. All right, you're grappled. Still. Another. Uh, do I roll for something? Um, only on on an action, like acrobatics or uh, athletics against its escape DC. Is it athletics or acrobatics, whichever is higher for you? Uh, where's the? 
Yeah, acrobatics. I'm gonna use the action to... Ooh! 18. 18. You manage to escape, uh, to, uh, to, to, like, push the pincers apart, and you fall down to the ground on your feet. You have your bonus action and your, move, and your uh, movement. I will use Mr. Step and uh, get. Just gonna move behind. Abe and the Panther. Alright, um, Abe, how many hit points are you at? Abe? I'm back down to 21, I think. Apparatus, I'm at 29. Many, apparatus, how many hit points are you at? How many am I? 30. <laughs> it is going to use its legendary action, two of its actions, maybe, and it is going to cast... Ooh, inflict wounds. On um, you, apparatus. It is going to... And, nice. and it's going to cast it at fourth level. Pog. Okay, so if you start screaming when it hits Nord, I'm gonna, I'm gonna get angry. All right, it, I forgot to roll for, I forgot to add into its uh, spell modifier, so I'm just gonna roll a uh, plus nine. Oh, deep. Oh God! Oh no! Gonna... Whatever Not will I do? Tendency. Oh, do you have your more more uh, simply barred? Oh. No, I used my reaction already. <laughs> oh no! It is going to double oh. its. Oh god! Oh shit! <laughs> Not that big of a deal, guys. Yeah, about that. No, it's it's just apparatus. Seventy points of psychic damage. What, it's inflict what what inflict wounds. It's it's Fourth special. Level. Fourth level. You should have said a special inflict wounds then, or that made it really confusing. It, I said inflict wounds as a spell. Yes. Inflict wounds is already a spell. Yes. Anyway, so you, so you take about a third. Yes. Then I'm instantly dead. Oh, so, because it's, oh, you're. You're not dead. You're unconscious. As so like, as so like, and you're kind of like, and it kind of like, oh, slams its its claws on you. Bam! And you're down to the ground, prone and unconscious. You want uh, me to make it miss? What? I no, can I make don't it care. miss. What? You don't care? Why not? What? It's we're in a dream. You have already established that we can't, we won't die, but we can lose. Use the power. I've got two of my drink tokens. Why does this D4 keep rolling? Okay, and will that be your turn, Huntfred? Uh, Huntfred's gonna just take a step behind the. Uh... Wait, did you already teleport? Yeah. Oh. You you were there. Yeah, uh, I was there. Yeah, I use a miss step. Oh yeah, you you use a miss step to get over there. If right? Yeah. Yes. Yep. Okay. Uh, would that be your turn? Can I just move behind the uh, apparatus? Yeah. Just to prepare. Yeah. Well, Drizzt yeah. is going to is going to risk himself. He's going to risk an opportunity attack from the quarry. As he like moves around uh, his panther uh, buddy and risk an attack from uh, oh, uh, uh, risk an attack of uh, the quarry's steiner. Eighteen misses, and he is going to let me take a look at. He doesn't have much in the way of inventory, so he is going to uh, stabilize you. You're stabilized. You don't need to make any uh, saving th uh, make any death saving throws. Is he really? I can heal next round. Yeah, I like I can also heal him. This is like the most famous character in D and D. <laughs> yes. 
and he just chooses to go stabilize the person when there's like so much healing going on. <laughs> it is called heroic, stupid. <laughs> I, 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 I well, I didn't want to. I didn't want to steal your thunder. <laughs> I, I don't want to steal your thunder. Whose? Yours. What do you mean mine? It's like all you. Like, <laughs> it's fine. Just kill the man. Okay, well, that means he's probably very low health. No one's afraid that this guy will kill him in this round. Yeah, that actually is is it the Panther's turn. It's still the Panther's turn. I forgot about the Panther. The Panther is Yeah, it's going to attack uh it's going to uh, attack with his claw. She's she's going to roll with advantage. That's back that can see it. Twenty one hits and she can and she deals uh Eight points of slashing damage. Woo! Imagine if the panther kills it. <laughs> be funny. That'd I'd be find funny. it funny. I would find it. Oh funny, yeah, yes. that, and that's pretty much Dwayne's turn. Iden, you're up. Oh okay. Uh, where should I go? Okay, I'm gonna move right here. Uh, should I do another spell? Which spell? Uh, ensnaring strike. That's a bonus action, right? Yeah, so I can only do the first level. Okay, make your attack. Okay. Ugh, 11. Not good. Mm, go ahead and make another attack. It says the next type, so you never know. That's <laughs> funny. Go ahead and roll your damage. It's, it's still a D8 because it's resistant to to non magical attacks. So just fourteen. Okay, that's going to be uh, seven points of uh, piercing damage. And uh, since and since it hit and since the arrow lands on its body. The at the arrow, uh, uh, like the arrow turns through a breathing mass of thorny vines, and it must make a uh, strength saving throw with advantage, of course. Twenty one. So did it break out? No, it's not restrained. Okay. So that's. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. All right. So. The apex uh, on its uh, on its legendary action is going to use its stinger. Uh, it's going to use not its stinger. Uh, it's going to use its pincer on you, um, Abe. Twenty six. Oh, you've doomed yourself. <laughs> And you take uh, eight points of bludgeoning damage, and your grapple as like turns around, swipes you off the ground, and it's just looking really, really pissed at you. Oh, you have sealed your fate. Now I can get even higher. Must stand again. Can Can you say that more out loud? Because you're you're really quiet. I'm just making jokes. I know, I know, but. I, th I thought it was I thought it was pretty fitting. So, what is it? You fool! You have do you have sealed your fate. Uh, now I would hit harder because <laughs> I had to <laughs> run away next turn, which wouldn't have been great. <laughs> yeah, you're grappled, and you take eight points of uh, of uh, bludgeoning. Oh, uh, you already took eight points of bludgeoning damage. So, uh... yeah, that would be uh, Iden's turn. Apparatus, you're stabilized, and can you use your can your turret move on its on its own if you're incapacitated, or can or you can't do anything? Let me check, and I'll tell you. Hmm. That's a good question. Uh, <laughs> words to read. <laughs> I'll just take a look myself. It does not say no. I'm gonna say that it can't move without your command, so... Your it turn... just sits there. It just sits... Looking really sad. I'm sorry, Apparatus. 
It took you down. That's what it would do. But uh, it stabilized. So you're, you're making it sound like it's more of a worse situation than it is, Nord. Yeah, you say uh, that like I don't have like six healing spells. You say it like I'm very oh. depressed. <laughs> I'm not. Yeah. Oh no! Uh, I'm not. Aura of vitality going around. <laughs> yeah. And it, oh. oh yeah. Oh yeah. Oh. Oh Nord. Yeah. Since he stabilized, can he roll for anything to uh, get down? Yeah, the they, they, uh, they, yeah, they can't. Um, they, the they character, can't. can't roll for anything. They're just like, just they're just gonna like lay there. I mean, I don't imagine an apparatus could roll dice unconscious anyway. There, the blue stands for the fact the turret is sad that it cannot do anything. All right, Abe, it's your turn now. Alrighty, straight off the bat, apparatus is up. Two d six. Thirty-six. <laughs> Three hit points. That's what? pitiful. <laughs> but okay. Three hit points is better than zero, I guess. All right, you're back up to uh, to uh, to uh, three hit points, and you feel life. Your life, uh, so to speak, coming back to you as you, like lay on the ground. Life is a dream. <laughs> <laughs> All right, you still have your action left. You can't move. Yeah, and you're so frightened. By the way, to run away. But but you yeah, can't. I don't have to run away. <laughs> That's why I said he is serious. All right, go ahead and roll with the disadvantage because you're frightened. Okay. Depends on the spell or whatever he's doing. Using. I'm just swinging. Oh, so, I have my uh, advantage, so it's neutralized. Okay. Familiar. Yeah. Okay. Go ahead. Oh, we'll okay. just do a regular attack. Uh, fifteen and seventeen then. Uh, they both plus eight each, so. They both hit. Go ahead and go ahead and roll your damage. You should probably say the total and not just fifteen. Yeah. I don't know if that's the total or not. Yeah, you really should. It should clarify. I'm just saying. Yeah. And twenty six. 26 points right. of damage <laughs> for both attacks. Uh, so that's a total of two attacks. So, Abe, how do you want to do this? Nah. First attack slices off the claw. Or gets him to toss me up the air, maybe. Not like that one. Toss me up in the air, and then I just pile drive my sword through his face. <laughs> Okay, you you slash you slash the arm, uh, uh, strange purplish blood spewing out all the time as like screams in pain, and next thing that is lost, it's like just like driving your sword, and as you cut it in half, you're no longer frightened and you're no longer grappled as the body of the quarry falls and uh, fall, uh, uh falls. Finally. <laughs> Alrighty, you, you turn around and see the ch uh, and you see the child sobbing, scared out of his mind. And I need to change the music. Give me a second. Do not worry. I know exactly what cheers children up. As I retrieve my turret. Hmm. Well, that wasn't that bad. Who's up for ice cream? The child might like that. Okay, sorry. Um, let me. Okay, before you do anything. I need to, uh, Waiting. okay, uh, fret vote, play, music. Oh. Alrighty, you see the child still sobbing, and he looks at you, still scared, but he kind of, he just, he's still scared, so, what do you want to do? I'm gonna After throw a fireball in. <laughs> what? <Brad's> Sorry. <laughs> Sorry, child. I hate to make. Okay, so the child's like up here, right? Yeah, child's right here. A virus will approach, and then his turret it will move slightly forward, and then start doing his little dance. <laughs> and I will use my magical tinkering to make a goofy little music while it's dancing. What sort of music? What uh, what kind of music is it? Uh, do you know the what was it, like the chicken song dance? It was like dun 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 dun. He kind of like stops crying and she, I, he he stops crying and it's just like just like stares at the dancing turret in confusion. That's better. We're getting somewhere. 
Paradis, roll a performance check. Roll a performance check. Yeah, <laughs> roll a performance check. And worse and worse. Yeah, roll a performance. Just, just, just yeah. roll Vlad T24 performance. With advantage, because the song. <laughs> hey, a 15. Uh, <laughs> I ain't horrible. Uh, <laughs> Can he I got like Bob's a a, just, like, just, like, <laughs> just like Bob Salon. Just a fifteen would do. Just he kind of like Bob Salon. Just he's still scared, but it's better. The goofy turret's doing its goofy little dance. Okay, when you okay, it always works. Okay, um, Drist of uh, uh, this recalls his uh, uh, his panther and the panther. Turns back into a uh, into a figurine and he puts it into his uh, and he puts it into his pack. That's well done. So, do you mind what, telling me what what the hell is going? One of the hells is going on. We're in a dreamland place. A dreamland. So that thing that that is just possessed you. It's a it's a dream demon. To my assumption, yes. Exactly. It's more. Uh, it's hard to explain. <laughs> Alrighty. I uh, seriously, it looks like you're approaching uh, the child while the turret yeah. plays music. I'm gonna kneel down next to the to the child, and I'm going to uh, druid craft a um, a daisy. It's all right. You're safe now. He. He stops crying, he looks at you, and gives you a hug as everything turns into a bright flash of light. And then you wake up. And you have all of your abilities, all of your hit points back. You've taken a long rest. As you find yourself back on the lightning rail. Back oh, into the dream feels like. Oh, well, that was something. Yeah. I'm not the only one who had that dream, right? Yeah. I you... never want to dream again. Dress, uh, 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 dress, uh, uh, it's rather somewhat early in the, very early in the morning as it rises as Fratheron. Um, and, and you see like this, like this tall, uh, foggy wall of screaming heads out in the distance where the, where the border of the moorland uh, is at. If if, oh, if, if you if you look out, if you look out the window and you and you look ahead, you can see that uh, you can see the borders of the moorland ahead. Hmm. And uh, and Twist says so. And and Twist uh, and and Twist and Twist looks at the looks up at the uh, at the border of the moorland and says so. This is the result of your war. Yes. Well, that's that's what they say. I personally think there was something else involved, but yeah, I have to do some more research to prove it. He nods, and he and he, and he looks at you. I promise you are sure of this. You, uh, do you, uh, couldn't give you, uh, when I tr uh, during my travels here, I couldn't get a straight answer about what what exactly caused this or why. That is what I'm trying to find out. Looks like Apparatus is gonna go on a history lesson. You, yeah, go ahead and roll a history check with your charisma instead of uh, instead of intelligence, since you're kind of like telling Drizzt on, um, on 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 on, on the history of the last war and what le uh, and what uh, led up to it. Would anyone like to to aid Apparatus in the matter? If we're doing history charisma checks, I got a plus eight to that. Actually, Abe, would you like to do that instead? You have history, you have history, right? You're a proficient, right? Yep. History arcana, I have. N I have I nothing rolled a in total charisma. Of Nineteen. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So this would also be a, a bit of a history lesson for how what led to the last war and why. So let me just like pop up uh, the Emberonica. For uh, for reference, if that's okay, I will also send you talking. Oh, I was going to throw that. <laughs> that's where it's going. Ignore it. Ignore. Okay, this is the big file, by the way. So bear with me here. 
Yeah. Like most of the uh, most of the size is because of uh, um it, it's because of the pictures and stuff. So, the last war. I have to look at the Eberron's book for example. As I turn the page for a quick history lesson, I will paraphrase from well, from that. So, just bear with me here. Uh, a century ago, uh, uh, the great, uh, the nation of Galfar collapsed into a civil war, and the five nations become they became separate countries at odds with their neighbors. Um, this is caused by when the last king of Galfar. Uh, passed away, which caused a succession um, crisis. Um, give me a second. Yeah. It was a conflict that waged between Under, Berland, Kairi, Thrain, and Karnath. Its purpose was to reunite the kingdom of Galfar after the, after the conflict over the succession uh, su that sought upon, upon the, uh, the death of King Jarrett in 894 YK, or Year of the King for short. The conflict lasted over a century and ended with the signing of the Treaty of Thronehold in 996 YK. The war came to a standstill four years prior when when Kairi was destroyed in a cataclysmic event. And it is what is now known as the Moorland. You, you, you gave to us a brief uh, history uh, uh, catch up and he nods, listening in. When uh, you 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 told you told him that there are many theories as to why Kyrie was destroyed. It could be a uh, magical uh, accident. It could be just be accumulating damage from all of the uh, you know from from the entire war. Give me a second. Um... Oh, oh. Sorry, this is like a bit of an awkward pause. And take your time. How there are still some rest that that wiped out many people there and displaced many others, including Sejuan. If you recall correctly, Sejuan oh, was a citizen of uh, Kyrie. And additionally. Um, there, uh, as, as you recall, there, there are, th there are still some people living there, mostly, mostly warforged, some followers of, uh, of an extremist that goes by the name of the Lord of Blades, and others, there are uh, others that, uh, 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 other groups there, but, um, whether or not you keep it to yourself because it's that obscure, that's up to you, such as, say, the warforged followers of the Becoming God, but, that will cause a more, um, a, a, a religion check, which is, which you don't think is relevant to the matter. So he nods, and as you uh, explained, you kind of like wonder, so, like something is off about the circumstances of how he got here. Apparatus, I would like you to roll an arcana check. 14. Well, um... Okay, we. Okay, so you've heard about the Reign of Cybers, a planetary reign of golden dragon shards that orbit the planet of Eberron. And beyond that reign are Eberron's 12, or there used to be 13 moons, but now 12, which the reign corresponds to, to the progenitor dragon Cybers, the drag or also known as the dragon above. You've all, you've, you've, everyone has heard, has heard the creation myth of Eberron. And, uh, you did hear theories that, it, that the Arena Cypress acts as a barrier that keeps away any, uh, anyone from other worlds to, uh, to prevent entry from, uh, from anyone from other worlds into the world of Eberron. How, uh, how do you manage to get through? It seems like a mystery, so, but you may have a few ideas. You, uh, you, 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 you recall what you have lectured, uh, uh, drift about, about, uh, about the damage the war has caused, maybe it could, uh, maybe it and the Moorland 
could be the cause. Actually, since since they're lecturing and kind of like refreshes their memory, you can go ahead and roll again and pick the high result. Sorry, that's my fault. Fourteen. Hmm. I think the game made a made a decision. <laughs> okay, but yeah, you, you had a few theories as to why, uh, if uh, that, oh, uh, that the Reinscriber is, is could be damaged, it could be breached. It, it was breached, and the implications of what could be on the other, what could be beyond Eberron, is a little unsettling. Yeah, because your character is so smart and like has an intelligence of twenty, and has and their arcana check and their arcana proficiency bonus is so high, the DC has been lowered, essentially. Pog, and I probably still failed it. Mm. Fourteen. <laughs> yeah, as far as you know, you uh, you do not exactly know the exa uh, like the exact. Mechanizations of the Rena Cyberus, but you have a few vague uh, ideas. The implications a little unsettling. As serious, would you also like to make a uh, Arcana check? Hunford? Uh, sure. Hunford? sure. Yes. <coughs> okay. Uh, 16. 15. Y'all came to a similar conclusion and. When you think about it, the implications seem not great. It, there could be someone who is willing to help from uh, from uh, from other worlds, but who knows what other threats could be out there? And uh, and as, as the morning sun rises, the lightning rail makes its way towards Flame Keep. And and during the turn, you hear. Uh, the uh, uh, the child says, "Mom, Dad, they're the one that uh, that saved my life in, in in a dream." See, see. I just awkwardly wave. Uh, the turret waves on his little feet. Uh, the turret is now is not activated. You just like woke up. Ah, the turret <laughs> will not wave with one of his little feet then. Lord, I want to try some. I had some dream tokens left. No, the this. dream tokens are all make gone. Sure, I want. No, I want to make sure this isn't a dream. Still, I'm going to try my hardest to conjure a big tub of ice cream. <laughs> mm, nothing. Yep, we're not in a dream anymore. However, you can However, Abe, you kind of feel like your that a bit of your power ha has slipped away. But in exchange. You did recall uh, your training, uh, your swashbuckling training from uh, back from the Lord Czar Principalities. So, congratulations. So, uh, so, would you like to replace one, uh, at least one of your uh, warlock levels as the rogue? Uh, I can do that later. Yeah, you can do that later. So, one or two levels, up to you. And. I would, uh, like to, uh, with Druid Craft, um, can I make a, a flower that doesn't wilt, or is that, or, like, wilts slower? Uh, it's, it's a normal flower, so it follows the lifespan, so, sorry. Alright, well, then I'm just going to make, make a regular daisy. And give it to the child. Yeah. Compared to to this nightmare you've been, seeing people up and about, like the staff working, people chatting, it's a nice change of pace from the nightmare. And and Driss looks at you and says, Well, at the very least, a job well done, eh? Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes indeed. <sighs> it's been a long day, so I will take my rest and uh if we arrive at Flank Keep, well, you you can have a place at uh, perhaps you can have a, a spot at the uh, at, mm, at as one of the uh, as some at, as the companions. I will I, perhaps I will uh, spread word of your deeds, if people could believe me. That is. 
We will see. And Perhaps he we will, if the opposite And remains. he walks back to his room. Nord, I have a question. Yes. Well, does the char know that Humphrey the uh, kick its demon form out of the train? Does it know? Oh, the the key, <laughs> the key, uh, uh, no, he doesn't know if uh, uh, he doesn't know if that thing if you've kicked that thing out. Because Humphrey is in a mental state, like, wow, does the child know? Remember, <laughs> he's like really feeling awkward around the child, like, yeah. As he, <laughs> you kind of like each of you feel the familiar rumble of the electric mill. It's not going any faster. It's not going any slower. It's just the speed. It's just right. As the lightning rail uh, departs from Phantom Rod in the morning and makes its way for Flame Keep. And that is where we will end our session for today. And we will do and we will do a an unusual session like again with with the one D and D uh, play test on September third. So, how was it, everyone? How was the boss fight? I think good. it was all. It was. It was. It was fine. It was good. I liked it. Ah, uh, it was. Mm -hmm. I hope. Uh, I, I'm glad that you enjoyed it. How was the boss fight? You sounded a lot more worried than you should have been worried. <laughs> I'm very surprised by the number of things that we run into that has legendary actions. Yeah, they're boss creatures. The boss creatures. Yeah. I don't know if you like no. part of the stat block or not. Also, Nord, I have a, I have a fun idea I want to pass by you yeah, after the after stream. Oh yeah, it could be like a character for uh, for uh, for the series of one shots. Yeah. Um. So, Hunfred, what uh, Korsky, what do you think of the uh, session and the module? Oh, that was much better than the last, than the first time we played. <laughs> yeah. How was the module, everyone? It was interesting. I'll say that was interesting. Yeah, and how, yeah. do think, how do you think I do on the horror aspects? You know, you did fine, but we definitely made it goofy. Yeah. Yeah. It's, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Sorry. Think... It's the... So, like, I, you, you did... You did fine. We're just You're just being we're you. Just stupid. <laughs> You're just yeah. being you. Yeah, we are let's say coping with horror by making it goofy. <laughs> yeah. Oh uh, yeah, we're, wait we're till like... wait, wait till you learn about what happened during the, the, the March of Badness sessions. Oh boy. But since we finished the module as what I heard Do we level up? No, not yet. Thing, I tried, guys. Maybe in the uh, maybe in the next few uh, next session or so. We'll uh, next session for the main campaign. Who knows? Sadly, I knew that answer. <laughs> yeah, because uh, yeah, you suggested I should like uh, multi class later, right? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh, as a as a fighter or artificer, I think. Fighter oh, makes more sense in Huffman's character. Do we sure, Artificer. Sense? Yeah. Yeah, Artificer, yeah, it sounds like great. I just think Humphrey's character is more fighter than. How many. Uh, to, in the near future, Humphrey, I mean, Korsky, how many levels are you planning on investing into uh, Fighter? Just for. Just for a fresh mind. Uh, just, just to be sure. How many. Uh... I, haven't I haven't decided. Okay. I want to see. Yeah, I want to see first with the how it goes. Okay. Um. I, um. Well, does what do you think of the of the past uh, sessions that you were in, along with the uh, module? What do you think of it? I like them. Uh. I just um. <laughs> uh, as you probably noticed, I'm a little. Uh low on energy today so it I'm happens not, it happens to everyone uh, also yeah Rhoda, which is why i i, I don't i, I really need to like... ask you hmm? is your icon that monster from genshin yes <laughs> that's it's the uh, confused there's uh uh in the genshin chat there's a confused 
Ashdaha emote, and I put that as my profile picture. All right. Closing now is World 20. Woo! That was fun! Uh, Aiden, how was it? I mean, Trey, how was it? It was pretty good. Like, um, would you... Was... Okay, so, I uh, uh, sorry, finish? Sorry. Uh, yeah, it was pretty simple overall. How, how do you think I did with the module and the horror aspects? I mean, uh, it was fine. I hope I did my best because I want to make it scary. And spooky! Yeah, the mood worked. Yeah, mood worked until it gets goofy with your rolls and... <laughs> and Huntford yeeting the demon child out of there! Which technically doesn't really exist, but since it's a dream... Dream logic. What are they ordering there? Yeet! I yeet the demon child! That's a, that's a sentence. <laughs> yep. It's a sentence that only makes sense in D&D. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, uh... Um, Lego, how was the, uh, how was the past few, few sessions with the, uh, horror and stuff, and the module? Hmm. Wow. Like everybody said, it kind of just fell back into D&D. &D. Yeah, with it does. Shenanigans and witty one-liners, <laughs> blah, 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 all that. <laughs> yeah. At least attempts at witty one-liners. I don't know how well I did. <laughs> Yeah, I'm just. All I'm I just... have to say is, Nord. I feel like after all of what my turret is done, my turret should have proficiency in performance. <laughs> I'm tempted. I'm tempted. I'm. T <laughs> yeah, I, I hope you have. I hope you had fun, and I hope it was I easy for me to honest for you to understand what I'm saying, at least uh, most of the time. Yeah, I understood what you said. We're hanging you around you enough, Nord. We, we got. We got you. Wait, we'll be uh, raiding Dirk. Uh, uh, Dirk, because he's he is uh, playing No Man's Sky. I've been playing that more recently. It's it's a lot of fun. I recommend you play that game. And it has a rough start, but once the, once the uh, patches come in, oh boy, it gets really good. Like at one point, you can get the Normandy ship as uh, as one of, as one of the ships for your for your fleet in one of the expeditions. No, I'm not making it up. No Man's Sky is definitely a it has its own taste, I'll say. Yeah. It was fu it's been fun, everyone. So, we'll be seeing you all next time. And hopefully, Aaron will be back next week. So, same bad time, same bad time, channel. Here comes the Calvary, right? Here comes the Calvary. Yep. Right. Have a good day, everybody. All right. See ya. Bye-bye. Goodbye. Farewell.